Lily, for someone who's so widely admired and love for your work in front of the camera, do you still enjoy being behind the camera and writing and producing and directing? Um, yeah, but I haven't done very much of that. Mm-hmm. I mostly have produced myself. <laughs> um, it, it would be kind of hard to dive in and produce someone else, especially if I had regard for them as an artist. I would feel like I was interfering with their artistry in some way. I try to, um, I try to assist people uh, who want to do something. If I, if I see a glimmer in them that I think is original or fabulous or something, I, kinda, I really hold back. I don't want to say too much to them. I, I can remember how many people used to try to give me advice. And I was, so, I was just so arrogant. I would hold on to my, my course so strongly that I had to be kind of arrogant. I'd say, I didn't ask your opinion. <laughs> They'd say to me, you know, if you do this or you do that, you could really do great. You could be a big star or something like that. And I'd say, I never asked you what you thought. And I would be a, a little terror. Like when I'd go to the improv and work out or something at three, and 3 in the morning, and there'd be people, like six people in the house, and they'd all have something to say to me. Uh, so that's just how I came up. <laughs> And that's how I've sort of conducted myself. I have people all the time sending me their tapes from their solo shows. And um, I, and some of them are really wacky, too, which, you know, I don't know whether <laughs> to tally up to originality or um, aberration. So um, anyway, I, I have very little to say uh, to anybody except myself. One of your latest projects is, of course, Grace and Frankie, which is neither on the stage, on television, or in theaters. It's on your interwebs, <laughs> uh, on Netflix. It seems like a gathering of, uh, it seems like a homecoming week with uh, Jane Fonda joining you and Sam Waterston, as well as Martin Sheen. Right, and, and the, the great part about it is, you know, Aaron Sorkin's at the center. Of it. We've all worked for Aaron Sorkin. How did it come together? Did you go to them and say, hey, look, no, I want to no, be part uh, of this? Marta Kaufman uh, approached both, both Jane and me at the same time and, uh, and said she had an idea for a series for Netflix, and it was about two older women who uh, rally against their societal roles, kind of. I mean, that was basically what it was, and that's what Jane and I are interested in anyway. We're both in our 70s, and... Um, we t- we've had parts in we've had parts in movies and stuff. I just did a movie where I have the lead called Grandma. I was going to ask you, very well received at Sundance, both by critics and the audience. Yeah, no, no, it's going to open the, the LA Film Festival and it's going to be released in August. But I wasn't going to get off on that. I'm just saying that role came to me quite kind of magically because I'd worked with the director on Admission, where I played Tina Fey's mother, and I had a supporting role. And Jane has taken supporting roles, and we were kind of commiserating. One day we said, you know, it cost me money to do these roles because I have to, like, bring my own hair and makeup, and I have to do, I have to house them and travel them and all that stuff. And uh, and so, yeah, she said, you know, we, anyway, we, we were on the same page in terms of uh, older women actresses not having leads anymore. And so this just came out of the blue, and it was just, it was perfectly divine. And it was the kind of thing that we wanted to do anyway. So, and then when they got Sam and Martin, that was doubly exciting. So we were happy. We were happy for some, despite the uh, the pleas for disparity and pay that have been taken up on the internet. It's Lily Tomlin on fourteen fifty KMS thirteen forty KPRK. Lily. You really have to find a dig on the internet to find news about you. Is it a conscious decision? Because I never hear anything bad or good about Lily Tomlin in the news. <laughs> no, I think I'm old news. I think people, I think the people who, who uh, love me and care about me as an, a performer, uh, I think they're there. And uh, I think they're excited if I do something or they're pleased or, uh, you know, but it's not like I had my, my, I haven't had my butt injected to keep up with the Kardashians or anything. I haven't had my lips injected as of yet. And uh, I just, I don't do anything that's that exciting, except when I work. That's all I can say. I, I, I don't think, I think I've been around so long, I'm sort of like, uh, 
you know, it's like, oh, that's my cousin. She lives in Hollywood. She does a lot of stuff. She's really good. If 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 uh, if she does something else, I'll get tickets for us. I think that's about how people relate to me. Now, Jane is another story. Jane Fonda. Yes. Uh, you know, she's had a, a, a an incredible life. I said to her when she wrote her her autobiography, I said, I hope nobody else tries to write an autobiography and try to come up to you. When I read that she skinny dipped with Greta Garbo, I just about flipped out. You know, she, her she came from Hollywood royalty, really, and all that stuff. And she's and she's uh, she's been married three times, and she's she's just. Uh, She's had an, uh, a pretty exciting life. Now, some people would think I've had an exciting life, too, but, you know, I can hardly remember half of it. <laughs> Forgive me, Lily Tomlin. I, well, I will hold you to that because if I read a story tomorrow that Lily Tomlin threw a hissy fit in an L.A. restaurant, I'll call you back. Oh, no, I've thrown fits. Don't worry. That's been <laughs> memorialized on on Internet, too. Oh, I, well, I, see, I, you're so hard to find on the Internet. I have not come across that. Oh, you haven't? Oh, you must have. It was like it was about several years ago. It was about five years ago or something. Uh, we shot. We shot. Uh, it's it's from uh, uh, I Heart Huckabee's with David O. Russell. He and I both had we had two scenes on the and the, and somebody who had it in for him. I don't think they had it in for me, but I was just like a casualty. Uh, they they stole the video. They released the video when when inter, when the YouTube came out. Oh my! We pa, David and I were friends long after that. We made up in a matter of minutes. But uh, but four years later, they released it on YouTube. And somebody, I mean, it's just it's made the rounds. It's it's over. It's old news now. But uh, some guy in China re- created five rap songs to it. Oh man! And uh, other and Howard Stern has used it on his show with me screaming, cursing, yelling. Uh, so I do curse. I do curse. I, I curse really well when I'm really mad. Um, so and David was cursing, too. We were doing everything. We were horrible. We were badly behaved. But we were stressed out. You know, that's my excuse. And most people don't usually uh, have to pay the price of public uh, humiliation from a piece of film off a TV set. But nowadays they probably do. Another project you're involved with is it a Wow O oh Wow W O W W O W dot com? Yeah, yeah, that's a that's a website. Jane and I were uh, amongst the founding uh, individuals, mm-hmm. along with a bunch of people, Whoopi and all kinds of people, and then people of real credential, like uh, oh gosh, um, J- Jones Gans Cooney, the one who started uh, you know uh, Sesame Street or one of the great children's programs. Uh, lots of really stellar people have been involved. Liz Smith, the columnist from New York, mm-hmm. who's uh, an old dear friend of ours, and um, Leslie Stahl, uh, Candace Bergen, lots and lots of people. And then it was uh, it was set as a site to uh, for older women, women over forty, to uh, to as a cultural place to meet, to talk about politics, religion, all kinds of stuff. And to post different kinds of videos and things like that. I, I, um, and Jane, my partner Jane Wagner was a part of that. Uh, we haven't really participated a lot in the recent times uh, because so many new people came aboard and everything. And I got we've just been so busy. Uh, but it was a place that was established quite a few years ago, like maybe five, eight, seven years ago or something. Mm-hmm. I can't recall. Well. An evening of classic Lily Tomlin on June 27th at the Allen Theater. It is the 2015 Gala Fundraiser. What will people uh, should be expecting when they come to the show? Well, <clears throat> my stand-up has always been character-based, and i always done 10 or 12 characters. And, um, talk and talk, I, I talk to the audience, too, and I talk about Bozeman and, and all of us living on planet Earth for as long as we can. <laughs> <laughs> and... Stuff like I use video in my performance to to sort of you know satirize myself or sort of satirize one of the characters, show some history of the character that she can interact with, and um, I just try to make it as uh, interesting as I can. So you're not afraid of technology? 
No. I I had a video show in 75. I had old reel-to-reel black and white tape, and we used to project it on a telebeam. I used to have to carry an engineer with me to to repair the, the old telebeams all the time. Oh, the telebeam. I forgot about them. <laughs> Well, Lily Tomlin, I wish you nothing but continued success. And just as an idea, you got to get Bob Newhart on the stage with you sometime. Oh, that's a good idea. Damn it. I sat next to Bob and his wife when he got the Emmy a, a year or two ago. Oh, uh, uh, First time he got an Emmy. Can you imagine? That's right. It was. I, just, I, I can't imagine. Stunning. Um, well, uh, we look forward to it. But that would be good, wouldn't it? We should do that as a bit. Like, he could... He could get Ernestine on the phone, and she just gives him hell. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I hope that comes to fruition. And don't worry, um, it's all your idea. Oh, no, no, it's your idea, definitely. Lily We're Tomlin. We're going to come to you for a critique. Well, I look forward to that. And Lily Tomlin, I appreciate your time today. Again, thank you very much. All right, thank you a lot for your time. And I'll be heading toward Bozeman pretty soon.